In the previous video we saw how to calculate moments for discrete distributions. In the continuous case there are essentially two things that uh, change. Uh, the uh, one is the fact that we replace probability mass function with probability density function and the other thing that uh, our summation sign become, becomes an integral. Let's remind ourselves what the mean is. The mean is the first raw moment um, and therefore uh, to calculate it, we just repl we just plug it into this uh, formula. Um, uh, we replace k with one on on both sides. Um, variance is defined as f uh, first uh, second central moment. So all you have to do is just put two here, and uh, please uh, remind yourselves that you have to take away mean from from um, the random var variable before you actually evaluate the integral. Um, now we take a a very familiar um, exponential distribution um, function and with this probability density function and uh, you will notice that this function is defined over uh, for all values uh, greater or equal to zero yeah so just before we calculate the first row moment which is our mean and the variance we just want to make sure that um, uh, we want we want to make sure what we should be looking for and here Wikipedia says that we should be looking for something like 1 over lambda for uh, our mean. So this is our setup. All we have done here is just applied the, the formula we say, which says that to calculate the first row moment uh, it, you just have to take the expectation and to calculate expectation you need to take this uh, random variable of which expectation you want to derive and you times it by its PDF yeah that's what we've done here we want to uh, we look for the first row uh, for the first uh, row moment so X to the power of 1 and times the PDF uh, of the probability density function of the distribution function that this random variable follows and in this case it's exponential distribution and uh, here all, all we saw all, we, all we've done is that we've taken the lambda parameter in front of the integral because it's constant and we are integrating with respect to X okay so here's the setup we will solve it by integrating by parts all you have to remember is that uh, uh, integration by parts tells us that a pro integral of a product of two functions equals product of two functions less the uh, integral of a product of these two functions. The only thing to remember is that here we are not given the function g itself. We are it's the function g in its the in its derivative format. Okay, so we have to find here and here we have to find an antiderivative of this uh, g prime before we can actually solve this integral and you can pause here and follow the integration it's standard calculus and it happens that we arrive at 1 over lambda um, so it's the same as, the, as what Wikipedia told us okay so as you can see this all can be very daunting and tedious uh, now the question is can it be done? Can moments be derived any simpler? And the answer is yes, indeed they can. All you have to do is just to find a, um, a moment gener generating function and once you have found moment generating function you can calculate moments on the fly like that uh, um, saving yourself time and trouble of solving these uh, rather uh, convoluted integrals. Okay, so that's will be that will be the subject of our next uh, next video, moment generating functions. Thank you.